Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find the Laplace transform of t. So here we have this f of t is equals to t and we have to find Laplace transform of this t, right? Yes. So first we will write down the definition of Laplace transform. Yes. When we have function of t, we can find its Laplace by using this definition. Here we have integral within limit 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t. This integration with respect to t. When we solve this integration, we get here function of s and this function of s is called Laplace transform of this f of t, right? So we will put here f of t is equals to t. So here we have this integration of e raised to minus st t, right? Now we have to solve this integral, yes. So first we will arrange these two functions by this Liet rule, yes. We have two function exponential and this algebraic. So first we have to write this t and next this is e raised to minus st, right? Now we have to find its integration with respect to t and we have to apply integration by parts, yes? And we know this rule, generalized rule of integration by part, right? Yes, when we have first function is power function of variable, right? We can apply this generalized rule. So yes, we have to proceed here. First function is t as it is the integration of this e raised to minus st, right? This integration is here e raised to minus st upon this minus yes. Then minus derivative of first function, this is 1 then integration of e raised to minus st. So here we have e raised to minus st upon minus s. This minus and that minus here we have s square, yes. And next is here, what is next? Next derivative of this one, this is 0 and integration of this one. So in multiplication, here we will get 0, right? And this is within limit 0 to infinity. Now we have to put here limit t, t is equals to 0 to infinity. Yes, now we have to put limit here. Yes, here we have, we have to put infinity, right? Now we can check that here we have e raised to minus st term, right? So e raised to minus st, right? And e when we put limit, this is e raised to minus infinity, right? So e raised to minus infinity, this is 0, right? So yes, here we have for upper limit, this is, when we put upper limit, this is get here 0. Yes, for upper limit, this term, this is 0, then here again, e raised to minus st here we have this is again 0 this is for upper limit then minus yes we have to put lower limit so here we have this is t right so t we have to put 0 so this is here 0 right and this is again e raised to minus 0 yes here we will write e raised to 0 right so and upon this is s square yes we have put the limit right when we put e raised to minus st here we get e raised to minus infinity and we have to check that here this is s is always greater than 0 right when we have s greater than 0 that means s is positive and this is minus and positive this is minus so here we have e raised to minus infinity and this is 0 and when we consider s is less than 0 yes this Laplace is not get defined since here we have e raised to infinity is infinity so here 
we have to remember that always this s is greater than 0 right so on simplification we will get here this is minus minus get plus and e raise to 0 is 1 so here we have 1 upon s square right and condition is that this s is greater than 0 so what we have find we have find this Laplace of t right so yes in this way we have find Laplace of t here and this is 1 upon s square right so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching